Hello, my friends. Thank you for joining me today. Let's spend a few moments in devotion with Jesus, our Good Shepherd. I'm going to read today from verse 29 of chapter 2 of the book of Philippians. Therefore, receive him in the Lord with all joy and hold men like him in high regard. At St. Bede's Episcopal Church in Santa Fe, New Mexico, there is only one door into the sanctuary. Over that door is a hand-lettered sign that reads, Servant's Entrance. There isn't any way in or out of that church except through the Servant's Entrance. That's not a bad reminder of the fact that every believer is called to serve our Lord and Master Jesus Christ. Unlike most sports teams, the Lord's team doesn't have any bench warmers. Every Christian is given a first string spot on the team with a vital role to fulfill. A non-serving Christian is a contradiction in terms. Paul hoped to send both Tim Timothy and Epaphroditus to them. They were loyal friends of Paul and servants of Christ. He instructs the church to receive them both in joy for Christ's sake. There are those within our congregations who are like Timothy and Epaphroditus. It might be your pastor, his wife, an elder, or just a member who is always encouraging and supportive. Receive them with honor. Lift them up in your prayers. Let them know how much they mean to you. Timothy's and Epaphroditus's dedication to the work of Jesus is a good example for us. We demonstrate our commitment to Christ by placing his interests above our own. We dedicate ourselves to help build up his kingdom by using the opportunities to serve our Lord and his church. We strive to be his faithful servants because he faithfully served us by loving us so much that he died to give us the glory of life with him. Let us seek to live in the unity of spirit and to display Christ-like consideration towards one another through self-sacrifice and gracious brotherly affection. We pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the examples of Paul, Timothy, and Epaphroditus, whose joys were spent in self-sacrificial service to others for the glory of God. I pray that all I do may be done for the benefit of others and to your glory until Christ is seen in me, to his praise and glory. Amen. Well, my friends, may you always lift up the servants of Christ that touch your life.